Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a few different ways to locate your system information on your computer. I'll show you some easier, quicker ways first that give you some uh, quick general system information. And then I'll show you a few other ways if you're looking for more in-depth information. So for those of you looking for some quick general information, we're going to come down here to the bottom. We're going to left click on your file explorer. It looks like a manila envelope. This box will come up. We're going to come here to the left under this PC and you're going to right click and go down to properties. This will give you some general system information, your device name, some processor information uh, using a fourth generation i7, uh, 2.5 gigahertz. It shows you your installed RAM. In this computer, there's 16. Uh, device ID, product ID, system type. Uh, this is a Windows 64-bit operating system. Uh, sometimes that's good to know depending on, on what you're doing. And then down here, your Windows specifications, a little more information on what Windows you have. This is Windows 10 Pro, not home. It gives you your install date um, and the OS build date. So this is some general information uh, that's kind of quick to find if you need this. Another place I'll show you to get a little more system information, we'll go down to the left on your search bar, we'll type in system information. And this app will come up, system information's app. So we'll click on that. So as you can see here, this gives you your system name, your system manufacturer, uh, your system model. This is a G750JM. Sometimes some of you, I'll direct you to this video because I need to know your model number. Again, 64-bit based operating system. Some more information on your processor, your BIOS version, your BIOS mode, UEFI. Sometimes we need to know that if we're troubleshooting certain things. This is where you would come for that. It also gives you some memory information, your installed physical memory, your total physical memory, uh, your virtual memory. It gives you some more information down here. If you want some graphics information, we go here to the left under components and we'll uh, plus that, we'll expand that list. And then here where it says display, we'll click on that. And this will give you some graphics information. This is using an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 860M. It'll give you some more information here on your display. If you wanted some storage information down here, a little bit under display, you'll see storage. We'll hit the plus sign to expand that list. Uh, we'll hit drives. As you can see here, this one has 221 gigabyte. It's got 186 free. This one down here, 931. 931 free so this has two drives in this computer but you can check and see where they're both at so if you want to guys explore around in here there's a lot of system information you can get um, just as a side note if you want more system information on your storage we can go down here to your windows button click on that in the bottom left we'll go up to settings click on that we'll go to system here in the left corner and then right here, midway down on the left, it says storage. Uh, this will show you a breakdown of how your storage is used. Uh, apps and features, it shows you the total there. Temporary files, it shows you there. You can click on show more categories, and it gives you kind of a nice breakdown of how your storage is being used. Other videos, uh, pictures, music, mail. It gives you a breakdown of how your storage is being used. So this is kind of nice if this is what you're looking for. Another way I'll show you, you're going to hit your control alt delete buttons in that list. You'll click on task manager. That'll bring you here and you're going to click on performance. Let's expand this a little bit for you. This also gives you a nice breakdown of some system information. It shows your CPU usage here, uh, some statistics down there, your memory, your in use, your available, your disk. Uh, disk one, your Ethernet, your Wi-Fi, GPU. So this is also a nice place you can come for some system information if you want to keep an eye uh, on how things are performing, uh, maybe various software you're using, how it's affecting uh, your performance. So those are three areas. Uh, there are quite a few other ones on how to get system information. These are the ones that I use most commonly. And if I'm directing you here to this video because we're working on a problem, um, most of the information that I need you to get you can find in in these ways so if there were any questions or comments guys feel free to leave them below i also try to keep a running list of faqs in the description hopefully in time uh, that saves you time getting an answer please like and share if this was helpful if you enjoy do-it-yourself tutorials like this on the computer please subscribe thank you so much for watching guys and i look forward to seeing you on my next video